So in this example, we are asked to complete the following. Now in part A, we are given the interval of negative infinity up to and including negative three halves. And we're being asked to graph this interval and then to write the interval in its set notation or set builder notation. So first things first, looking up at our interval, we want to observe any important features of this interval. So looking up at our interval, we realize, of course, we have an, in, an infinite interval, but we're also observing the square bracket at the endpoint, which is implying that x can equal this endpoint. So looking down at our graph, we can observe negative 3 halves is going to be in between negative 2 and negative 1. So right about there. And since we have the closed bracket, we're going to draw a closed dot at this endpoint, minus 3 halves. And then we have all of the x values that are less than or equal to this point. So we are shading the region moving in an infinitely negative direction. So in writing this graph in its inequality form, we can think about all of the x values over here that are going to be less than or equal to minus 3 halves. So with this inequality, we can now convert this and write our set builder notation. So in set builder notation, we can say that we are working with the set of all real numbers x such that x is going to be less than or equal to minus 3 halves. Now in part b, here we are given a set in its set builder notation. So we have the set of all real numbers x such that x is strictly greater than negative 2 but less than or equal to positive 2. And we're being asked to graph this set and then to write the set in its interval notation. So making a special note of our inequality, we can observe here that x is going to be strictly greater than negative 2, implying that at this value on the number line, we'll have an open circle or open dot. And then x can also be or is less than or equal to positive 2, which implies that at positive 2 on the graph, we'll have a closed circle. And then x could be all of the values in between. So from here, we can now easily convert this into our interval form. Recall that open dots imply rounded parentheses, whereas closed dots imply square brackets. So as an interval, we would write this as x is an element of the half open interval from negative 2 up to and including positive 2.